<laughs> Bree, as someone who got their SAG car when they were seven or eight, I don't know if this applies to you, but maybe it does. Oh, it definitely does. Don't you worry. Don't <laughs> you worry. Work is not consistent as an actor, okay? <laughs> I mean, I had like a solid amount of time where I was still living at home. Like I moved out when I was 18. I think I just turned 18. Um, but even then it was like, I was not stable as an actor. And I mean, listen, will I ever be? We're not sure. But like, it's, it's just, it took a really long time. The one job that I did have for a couple years in my adult life was I was a DJ, which like I just played vinyl records and don't get too excited. It was like at a bowling alley, but um, it actually would pay really well. Um, and so I was doing that for a really long time because it would be in the evening. So I was still able to audition. Um, and at that time, I mean, I don't know if that's still the case, but DJing paid so remarkably well. And it was like the novelty that I was like this young girl that had like, I only played vinyl records. And so I ended up doing like, I did some magazine parties, like Teen Vogue parties. I think I did like a Coachella party oh, once. Cool. So it was cool. Really cool, but I was very doing cool. that while I was filming short term 12, I was still doing that on Saturdays because um, I was so poor and short term 12, I think it was like $800 a week or something. And even that was like three weeks of work. It wasn't like a huge thing. So I had to do that for a really long time. Um, and it was kind of the best, the best job for me. I taught a kid's acting class like briefly, but that wasn't even for money. That was just so I could get acting lessons. I did like a trade with this acting coach because I didn't go to school. Like I'm not, um, I'm not trained in any way. Like everything I just kind of made up. So it just kind of scrappy. Um, but Aside from not having like a consistent working job, I mean, I basically just was like the classic be at the grocery store, swipe my card and it'd be like zero dollars. I mean, I probably did that like 12 times at least. There was so many times that I did that and I was like, when is this going to, it just feels impossible. It yeah. feels really, really impossible. And that's what I'll say outside of like having a job, not having a job, whatever, I just felt like it always felt like I needed to have the job to have the job. And I was like, but if I don't have the job, how am I supposed to get the job? And mm. it just felt like devastating and impossible all the time. So anybody out there who's feeling that it's very real. Um, yes. It's very real. This DJ job actually sounds really cool. I'm surprised you gave it up. I know. Well, I think about it sometimes. It's like, maybe I'll just take my records out and I can go back to that if you know I need it in a pinch because... Um, it, it seems like now um, you can send in self tapes and people are the way more, it's like digital now auditioning, but that's not what it was like. I feel like I'm sounding like it's from a time long ago, but it's not that long ago, <laughs> totally. but, uh, but I mean, you have to drive everywhere. And so it'd be like having a bunch of different changes of clothes in your car and like getting parking tickets because you know, the casting office was an hour behind and then being these cramped rooms and people Thomas are like, died. Yeah, mm -hmm. Thomas Guide. Yes, Thomas Guide. And like What's people that? like doing oh. like the, the lines of dialogue kind of like mumbling to themselves and like kind of staring past you in the waiting room and like mm -hmm. trying to stay focused. Um, it's just was so it was so it was so hard. And so now I feel like you have the flexibility, it seems like to have a more regular job. But when I was doing it, it was like it was one or the other. Like you couldn't do three auditions in a day and also have a job. So the, the DJ stuff helped me quite a bit in that sense. Does someone want to explain the Thomas guide to Bell? Yes. <laughs> oh, it was Green. huge Green. back Green. in the day. It was like a guide to LA, like of map. So before uh, like a, yeah. or a book of maps. Yeah. Yeah. We have that. It's called the A to Z. A to Z. Nice. Yeah, okay. the a it was yeah. so yeah. stressful because you would have to kind of pl plot out your, your, whatever i you know turn to page 46 column a yeah and then there's like all those blocks uh, yeah those find where you're going. you have to find it and then like oh mm. i have mm -hmm. a terrible sense of direction or you went anywhere things. you would have to like write down from the thomas guide like take left here take a right here get off at this thing da -da -da -da. so it was, it was yeah, not not as we were, were. That is one good thing about technology. I'll say that. Is. Well, then I remember. Do you remember the map quest era? Map because quest. Then I moved on oh, to that. Yeah, yeah map I like, quest. Out, like, it would never work. And then it was like, oh no, and heaven forbid, you've like left the house with your layers of map quest, and then it's like, oh no, that freeway's closed. And I'd be like, I don't know. 
what I'm doing. Oh, I don't right. know how to get Map anywhere. Quest. Map Quest yes. is huge. You have to Map print it out. Yes. Yeah. yeah. You have to print it out and have all the directions. And for also you. know like distances on your own. You also oh. Like, like, oh, yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> like, that's like, like, I, mean, I know what that is. <laughs> it's like, I don't know if you're this two miles. I don't know. <laughs> like, I, don't I know. just have to say, Brie, that I, I remember being at that Gotham Awards. We were both there. And I remember you winning for short term 12. And I just want to like cry thinking about it after just hearing your story, talking about the experience of short term 12 and how close mm -hmm. that was to you just like being at the beginning of it. And it just feels like I was able to witness this major shift for you. <laughs> and um, anyway, that was such a beautiful there's just such a beautiful um, new chapter. I I feel like I got to win or the start of a new. Chapter yes. Well, you did. And it's like, you don't, that's so, that's so sweet. I forgot about that. I forgot that you were there for that. Oh my um, God. I was it was so, so special. It was and it was so like special. that dress that I had was like Calvin Klein randomly was like, Oh, we'll dress you. And they had like one dress that they sent. And I don't even know if it fit, but it's just like, it, it was close, oh, it you know? Fit. And I wore that, you know, and it was like, I remember I had a zit and I just kept putting too much stuff on it and I like burnt my skin and had like a dry patch. Of, but it was just like, whatever. I didn't know what I was doing at all. Oh my God, like, you're amazing. And like, then we met at some, we all met up at some random bar afterwards. Yes. And chill. And you're yes. just so, you're just, your energy was so awesome about it. It was, I, it was, I was very excited. And then that just your performance in that movie was just so beautiful. So yeah. yeah very uh, I feel like that stuff too when I look back on that it's like those are because I've been feeling it recently now that like it's new year or whatever I've been having this feeling of like I feel like hungry to do something great like I feel hungry to work and it's like that feeling is the exact same feeling I had at that time oh, yeah. and I'll take long breaks from work so that I can get to the point where I feel that again because that's where I feel like all that stuff comes from. It was like, I was so charged at that time. And I don't want to lose that charge.